is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. Today I am once again finding myself in a pub in Teresa, Wisconsin at a place called the Pioneer Keg taking on their legendary brew masters challenge. Now I couldn't get enough pub food after the last video uh, down at Yeti's in uh, Edgerton slash Newville so had to do me another pub food style challenge. This time though I am graced with the presence of the ever so delicious cheese curd which apparently these cheese cheese curds here at Pioneer Keg are the top 10 in Wisconsin, so I'll give you more details about that in the voiceover. But anyways, I am going to have 30 short minutes to finish everything you see here, which includes a one pound, I went with their grilled cheese keg burger, one pound of their fries, a little pickle slice over here, and then one pound of their brick style cheese curds. But anyways, 30 minutes to finish all of this. If I am successful, I do get a groovy t-shirt and a spot up on the wall of fame but either way I do pay the $32 to uh, give a go at this challenge. Now I am also hoping to become the very first ever female winner of this challenge because in all the 12 years there hasn't even been one single female attempt which is very very sad so excited to be here at the Pioneer Keg in Teresa Wisconsin just down the road from me in Milwaukee. Plenty of talking though I'm really really hungry I'm a little nervous to dig into very very hot cheese curds but they look delicious but as usual there ain't nothing to it but to do it Let's pull our hair back and get this challenge started. All right, now rumor has it 14 minutes roughly is the record to beat. I don't know if I'm gonna go for that or not. I uh, think I wanna enjoy myself a little bit here, but I also wanna give us ladies a good name. But of course, without further delay, let's just eat some food. I've done plenty of talking. One, two, three, let's get it. Ooh, here we go. Okay, let's start with these curds. They're famous after all. Oh yeah, squeaky. Mmm, and so good. I have missed Wisconsin and I have missed cheese curds. It's so true. There's just something about them that makes them superior to a cheese stick and also superior to halloumi even. They're just ah, perfect. Okay, well, it's about 40 minute drive from my house. I think I'll be back. Wisconsinites take their cheese curds very seriously and there is a reason these suckers were in the top 10. Wow. All right, now I don't want to ignore this delicious grilled cheese cheeseburger here. I'm very intrigued by it. This thing is hefty. Let's do it. It's got a little fry dangling from it, a little tail. Here we go. That French fry at the bottom there was just clinging on for dear life. Cute. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I'm getting to the point where I say, oh, yeah, like the Kool Aid man. <laughs> that is really good toast. Yeah, Jim, the owner, actually convinced me to try this burger. I had no idea what it really meant. I thought it might be like a cheeseburger between two grilled cheeses, but uh, he said it's his favorite sandwich on the entire menu, and uh, I had to go for it instead of the mushroom and Swiss burger, which is my typical choice, but there are a lot of other tasty choices to choose from as well. These patties are cooked to absolute perfection as well. Loving it. With how delicious everything was on this challenge, I am so shocked that no women had tried it yet. It was only $32 to give this a go. Come on, ladies, 12 years, no attempts? <laughs> Unfortunately, that's it for the burger, but excited to get back into those curds. Mm. This is some killer food. Great work, Jim. Jim and his family were all very sweet. He uh, gave me a little bit of the backstory on, I guess it's pronounced Theresa, Wisconsin. And it was kind of interesting to hear all about it. He also gave me a book I need to read. Get in on this pickle here. That was such an aggressive way to eat a pickle, but uh, it was delicious. So figured I might as well just do it all in one big bite. <laughs> Love me some dill pickles. The pickle provided a pleasant break from all of the fattiness of the cheese curds. As delicious as they were, you need that nice little vinegar punch every now and then. And uh, yeah, it definitely solved that little flavor change up that I needed at the time. <laughs> Sadly, onto the last two curds, but I know these fries are gonna be amazing because everything else has been wonderful. So, cheers. Mm. Parting is such sweet sorrow. French fry time, really digging this. It's house made ranch, right? It was so good. It's like really thick, delicious. So finish that up with these fries and uh, we might have ourselves a new record here, unofficially. Doing it for the ladies. The 14 minute or so record was actually set by a local farmer's kid, I guess. So uh, I felt kind of bad for taking away his local legendary status, but it had to be done. Ooh, thank you. 
I just brought an extra ranch backup just in case I use all this. Spoiler alert, I will be using all of the ranch dressing, but uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this rather small challenge. It was absolutely delicious either way, but I'm gonna leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video. I will catch you guys in the next one. That's it for one ranch cup, and once again, I am uncharacteristically not using any ketchup, which is, I don't know, it must be like a new year, new me sort of thing, because I love ketchup, but this ranch is undeniable, stealing the show. Not that the fries really need it, they're very flavorful. Sadly, the fries are coming to an end now as well. And that means no more food for Katina. But that is okay, that was absolutely delicious. It was probably not too friendly on the waistline, but it was friendly to my taste buds and my soul. So cheers to the final bite and cheers to you, Kilo Crew. absolutely delicious nine minutes and 12 seconds was my final time to finish that I didn't really intend to eat that quickly but it was also delicious went down easy loads of flavor so if you are ever in the Milwaukee area or even around Oshkosh Appleton wherever stop on in to Teresa Wisconsin it's a tiny little town but visit Pioneer Keg have some of their food they're also known for their pizza as well I guess haven't tried that but I can tell you that the curds are amazing the burgers are amazing and the fries and ranch dressing are something else but I will not be getting my meal for free today, but I will be getting myself a groovy Brewmaster t-shirt and a spot up on the Wall of Fame here at the Pioneer Keg and of course leaving with a happy full belly. But as always, Kilo Crew, thank you guys so much for watching. A big thank you to the Pioneer Keg. I will of course catch you guys in the next video. Okay, peace out. Bye. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, Jim. And that was so good. Theresa, oh that's man. That's okay, that's fine. I'll correct myself. I'll well, correct myself I, in the I gotta video. give you a shirt, but Ooh. you rocked on that, so we gotta give you oh, more official. Oh, thanks my man, wow. One of our famous sweatshirts, so, cause Ooh. that is just like, and that's Pioneer got our, what we're known for. Yeah. Ooh, the hoodie action, thank you very much.